In this video, I'm going to show you an incredibly powerful tool that can help you take back control of your Android device and eliminate something we all dread, bloatware. I'm talking about the Universal Android D Bloater, a fantastic piece of software that allows you to uninstall those unwanted pre-installed applications without needing to root your phone. If you're tired of a cluttered app drawer, wasted storage, and apps running in the background that you never use, then you're in the right place. Alright, before we start debloating, let's make sure you have everything you need. First, you'll need a computer running Windows, macOS, or Linux. You'll also need a standard USB data cable to connect your Android phone to your computer, and of course, your Android phone or tablet should be powered on and unlocked. Another essential component is having the ADB, Android Debug Bridge, drivers installed on your computer. If you're using Windows, it might install some basic drivers automatically. To check if your phone driver is already installed when you connect USB cable, right-click on Windows icon. Then select Device Manager, then under USB Controllers, check whether your phone is listed there. If yes, you're good to go. If no, you need to download them manually. To do this, go to a website, search Android Drivers, go with the first link, scroll down till you see Install a USB Driver. Click on that and scroll through it to find your phone driver and install it. This will ensure your Windows PC can properly communicate with your phone. Next, you need to enable USB debugging on your Android device. To do this, go to your phone settings, then on search bar search for build number, click on it repeatedly, usually about 7 times, until you see a message saying you've unlocked developer options. Then, now on the search bar, search for USB debugging and turn it on. You'll probably see a warning message, so read it and then tap OK. Now, let's get the universal Android debloater to software. It's an open source project on GitHub. Open your web browser and search Universal Android Debloater. Once you're on the GitHub page, scroll down till you see download the latest release of UADGUI for your operating system here. Click on that here. Now you will see the latest release, for now it's version 0.5.1. Again, scroll down a bit and click on Assets. You'll see different files for different operating systems. If you're on Windows like me, you will see two files ending with .exe. I recommend you download both the files since I am not sure which one will work with your device. Click on the files to start the download. Alright, now before we actually launch the Universal Android Debloater, let's download Android Platform Tools. These tools contain ADB, which, as I mentioned earlier, is the communication pathway that the Universal Android D Bloater uses to talk to your Android device. Open your web browser again and search for Android Platform Tools. Click on the first URL. Look for the section that provides downloads for your specific operating system. In my case, it's Windows. From here, scroll down then agree on the terms and conditions. Thereafter, click on Download. Once downloaded, Head over to the file location where it was downloaded to. Now, you can unzip it, or you can simply double-click the zipped file, then cut the Platform Tools folder. I will go with the cut method. Next step is to add Android Platform Tools to your C drive. After cutting or unzipping, move that Platform Tools folder in C drive. Now, go back to location where you downloaded the 2.exe Windows Debloater program files we had already downloaded. Select the two files and move them to the Platform Tools folder in the C drive. You can do this by drag and drop or cut and paste there. Once you have moved the two files. Let's go to final steps. Now we have to confirm if ADB server is really working on our device. To confirm this, connect your phone to your PC using USB cable if you had not yet done. Then, open CMD and type in ADB devices and press enter. In case it brings an authorized error, check your phone and allow USB debugging. Then type ADB devices again to check if it'll be recognized. If everything is fine and you see device, then you're good to go. Now open the platform tools and run the exe file by double tapping it. Let's start with the first exe file see if it will work. If it doesn't, we use the second one. 
this will launch the universal Android D-Bloater on your Windows PC. The first .exe file worked. Once it's open, you'll see a refreshed button. Click this, and the tool will scan for your connected Android device. If everything is set up correctly, your phone should be recognized, and the application will start listing all the apps installed on it. This might take a few moments depending on how many apps you have. Once the app list is loaded in the universal Android D bloater, you can start finding and uninstalling the bloatware you want gone. Carefully go through the list. You'll probably recognize many apps by their names. Look for apps that you didn't install yourself and that you don't find useful. This could be pre-installed games, trial software, duplicate utility apps, carrier-specific apps, or manufacturer-specific apps you don't need. If you're not sure about an app, you can always search its package name online to see what it does. Be careful not to uninstall important system apps, as this could cause problems with your phone. The universal Android D bloater sometimes has lists of apps that are generally safe or potentially unsafe to remove, which can be really helpful. Once you've found the bloatware you want to uninstall, just click on its entry in the list. You can select multiple apps by holding down the control key on Windows or CMD key on macOS while clicking. After you've selected all the unwanted apps, find the Uninstalled button in the universal Android D bloater and click it. The tool will then use ADB commands to uninstall these apps from your Android device. You'll likely see some progress messages in the application. When it's done, those apps will be gone from your app drawer and won't be taking up storage or running in the background anymore. One of the best features of the universal Android D bloater is that it keeps track of the apps you uninstall. There's an uninstalled section in the application. This shows you a list of all the apps you've removed using the tool. If you ever realize you've uninstalled something you actually need or want back, just find it in the uninstalled list and click the restore button. The universal Android D bloater will then use ADB to reinstall the app on your device, bringing it back to how it was before. This restore function is a fantastic safety net, so you don't have to worry too much about accidentally removing something important. I don't have any bloatware. So, I won't uninstall any app but you can uninstall if you have them and let us know in the comment section if it worked. By following these steps, you've probably freed up storage, improved performance, and made your phone a lot cleaner and more enjoyable to use. The fact that you can do all of this without rooting your device makes the universal Android D bloater an amazing tool for any Android user. Just remember to be a bit cautious when uninstalling apps, especially system ones, and don't forget about that restore function if you run into any issues. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. What bloatware annoys you the most? Let me know in the comments below. I'll catch you in the next one.